Okay, in this video, we're going to set up some navigation for our store. We're going to deal with the navigation bar, and we're also going to deal with uh, quick links, with our footer links. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's go into the back end, and let's go on the left-hand side, and let's click on Online Store, and let's click on Navigation. Now, the first thing that we want to do is let's deal with the footer. So let's click on Edit Link List. And I want to add another link. And I'm going to call this one Returns. And I'm going to hit this drop down and select a page. And now we're going to select the page, which is Refunds. And let's click on add another link and we want to put in our privacy policy we want this to link to a page now let's select the page for privacy policy there it is let's add another link and let's call this one terms of use we want this to link to a page We've already um, created all these pages, so now we're just putting them in the navigation. Terms of use. And that looks pretty good. So let's hit save. And let's go take a quick look at what we've done here. Let's scroll to the bottom. And we can now see that we have our return uh, page set up our privacy policy in terms of use so let's go and deal with our navigation bar let's click on navigation and let's go to our main menu and just hit edit link list now let's take a look this is all fine uh, home is going to go to the front page catalog I've got this one just set up to go to all collections, which is fine. And About Us, I've selected that it goes to a page, and it's to the About Us page. Let's add another one, and let's put in Contact Us. And we're going to link that to a page, and let's select the page, and it's Contact Us. Now let's just click on save and let's go back and see the changes that we've made here. We'll refresh the page and there we go. We've now got our basic navigation. Now I'm going to show you one more uh, thing that we want to cover. Let's go and take a look at an item. Now for most of the products you'll see that they're in the uh, the accordion drop downs here you'll see the size guide now if you don't want the size guide in here you may want your size guide always displayed at the top so let's go through and and let's uh, get this done let's go into the back end and let's click on online store and let's go here to pages and let's add a page we'll click here and we're going to call this one Size Guide. Let's put our cursor in the box down here and let's select Insert Image. And let's go to um, Upload File. Now in the Members area you're going to find a link to a Size Guide. We're just going to select that and uh, you download it to your computer and then navigate to where you have it stored here. Select it and then click on Open. And we'll see that it's going to show up here in a second. And then we'll just click on it. And now we want to make sure that we select the size. I always go with a nice big size. That way it's going to display better on the desktop. And then we'll just click on Insert Image. And there it is. Let's save this page. And now let's go to navigation. 
And let's put this in the main menu. So let's edit the link list. Let's add another link. And let's put in here size guide. And let's select, uh, we want it to go to a page. And let's select the page that we just created called size guide. Let's click on save. And let's go and take a look. We will now have size guide in the navigation. And there it is. If they click on this, it's going to pop up their size guide. Okay, that pretty much covers how to set up your basic navigation. We've got our footer links in place. We've got our navigation links in place. We're looking good. In the next video, we're going to talk about adjusting individual products. So we'll see you in the next video.